What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be putting Screen Pro Tech on my truck. I guess not on the truck, but on the LCD screen inside my truck and the speedometer cluster area. Super excited for this. When I first bought my truck, I think the very first thing I purchased was a screen protection film because I'm super paranoid about the fingerprints and scratches getting on things like that. So the brand I went with before, I won't mention it, but it was a horrible installation process. That's gonna be completely different with this. They have great reviews, great customer service, so I'm super excited. But first, I always give you guys a little walk around of my truck. If you're new to my page, this is my 2020 Tacoma TRD Off-Road in cement gray. I've upgraded the grill to the, I guess, TRD Pro Grill. It's got some little Raptor lights in there, a little tricolor badge, some Baja Design ditch lights, Prinzu roof rack, Heretic, or Heretic, whatever you want to call it, 40 inch light bar. I've took off all the chrome, put a little TRD off-road badge. Got some Yokohama Geo Lanterns 285, 75R16, Stealth Custom Series wheels, Icon Stage 6, and a bunch of other ones that I know I'll forget. Um, go down to the description below. All my videos are posted in there and most of the accessories I purchased. So with that being said, let's get into this installation. This area right here has to be the easiest part to scratch in a vehicle. Even with the softest towel, over time wiping away the dust is gonna cause horrible swirl marks, horrible scratches, and it's just impossible to get rid of unless you've got a film on there already. So this area does not even, I don't even touch this, whether it's dusty or not, I just completely leave it because I hate the scratches that can appear on here. And then also not so easy to scratch, but still definitely vulnerable and all the fingerprints because it is touchscreen. It's super frustrating over time. And then you go and wipe it and the oils from your finger are starting to smear it. So having a film over this area, the LCD screen and the speedometer, this cluster area is gonna be super nice. All right, I turned my truck around. Hopefully this is a better lighting area for you guys to see what I'm working with. So let's give the screen a little mist and I'm just gonna wipe it down after I did it when it was dry. So let's go ahead and just clean around everything. Actually, the solution removes a lot of the dust like right away. So that's really good. Make sure you get underneath the shift knobs or not the shift knobs, the, uh, the volume and, and tune. And then all I did was I just added water, just like it says on the side. It's already got the soap. I just added maybe half water if i need more then uh i could just add more water now for the screen part this is vehicle specific so make sure if i've got a 2020 so it asks all your vehicle information make sure you put in the correct information that way you get the correct size because the 2020 i believe is a bigger lcd than previous years and what we're gonna do is kind of like putting on like wrapping or putting on a clear film on your vehicle spray the surface and then we're gonna peel off the, the uh, screen protector. And I could tell this is a lot better quality than the one I purchased on Amazon. Make sure you don't rip it at all. Okay, now with it off, where's my solution at? There we go. We're gonna spray this too. So there's gonna be a little bit of overspray on the vehicle which it's not a big deal and then the reason to spray it is so that you can move it around and get it lined up perfectly so with the wet we can get it lined up all around get it around the dial and then kind of just let it center when you got it centered all we're gonna do from here is use the can't remember i don't know why i'm drawing a blank on the name i always draw a blank but we're gonna use this squeegee thing and push out all the liquid. So let's try to get this set. I'm gonna go down in the center here. Okay, you wanna start in the center. The reason for that is so that it sticks into place right away. Now I can work on the edges and get those lined up. However, that looks pretty darn good right there. So now we'll start going all the way around. I'm just holding on to it as I'm pulling downward, just removing all the fluid from here. All 
Okay, I've got it pretty centered. It dried up a little bit, so I'm just gonna use the solution to wipe this. Just make sure all the areas are pushed down pretty nice around. So that was super easy. Once you get this thing on, I mean, there's really no way to mess up. Try to push out a lot of liquid over here. It's just harder to get to this area. See, see it's kind of lifting right there. Okay. I think this is all pretty, pretty good here. And then we can dry it off with the microfiber that they gave us, or you can use your own. It don't really matter. All right. Fully installed, super quick, super easy. Now I don't have to worry about fingerprints on the actual screen. You can see they'll all be on this uh, screen protector now. Any scratches, anything like that. I just made sure I pushed on all the edges, on all the buttons to make sure the water's out of them. And everything feels pretty good. A little bit of trouble drying down here, but give it some time, it'll be good to go. Now we'll make our way over to this bigger area. Same thing, gonna clean it all up, then I'll spray it, clean it again, and then we'll apply the new the new screen protector on here, which already has a cutout for this little button, which is super convenient. My GoPro is just not having it with the lighting inside my truck right now. So I switched over to my phone. I'm just gonna lightly clean this. I don't wanna do too much because I do have some scratches around this thing. Actually, let's see if I can show you guys. Mainly have scratches. You can see the, oh, there you go. And I rarely even touch this, but all those scratches are just super annoying. Then they end up working their way up here and now you've got scratches all the way across. And I've seen some that are so bad. I mean, that it's barely even visible looking at anything on here. Same thing here. Give it a light mist in there. Wipe it down. If you guys have been considering getting a screen protector for your instrument cluster, your LCD screen, and then now down by the little shift knob, check out the link. It's down in my description or down in the description. Super convenient. I'm a big fan of screen protectors on just about anything with the screen. All right, cleaned off. Looks nice. You can see those scratches on there still. We're gonna spray it again. Make sure you get all the corners peel off the film all right and then we're going to spray this as well and you don't have to douse this thing just enough to keep it wet slide this in here it's a little weird put it right on the the little button there all right, and then the cool thing is it slides up. So it looks like it might not fit, but all you gotta do is just move it up into like into this area and get it all nice and lined up. Looks pretty good right there. Make sure it's pushed underneath all the plastic. All right, same thing, let's use this squeegee. You're good to go. So what I was talking about is it looks like the when you're applying it that the screen is, uh, protector is going to be too big. But it just goes up in these grooves. All up down there and then you push down here. The only part that's a little difficult to dry is going to be right underneath the button. Just give this a dry off now. So underneath that button, it's a little difficult to dry. I'm just going to push on it and hopefully that pushes out liquid see you can see it right there bubbling up but it'll dry so don't be don't be too worried about that if you can try and get underneath it you can use the squeegee try to push it all down just like that or maybe even upward whichever's working easiest there we go, can you see that? 
got the liquid out. All I did was just kind of got underneath and pushed it all down. Huge shout out to Screen Protect. Thank you so much for sending me those products. That was long overdue. If you're considering going getting screen protectors for your vehicle, don't wait any longer. Just get it. Links down in the description below. They also have other products to protect your pillar. So I think it's called like your door pillar, this area right here, which is also super easy to scratch. If yours is black like this, bird poop will destroy it. Get some film, cover it up. Super easy, just like installing the the instrument cluster and the LCD screen. Also add me on Instagram, D 4x4. If you've commented on YouTube, like I've mentioned before, they don't show me all the comments for some reason. Some will get put in spam, I don't know why. I'll click on some and then it'll say no comment found. So just ask me again or delete your comment and then re-upload it and then hopefully I'll be able to see it. And then also, if you have me on Instagram, just ask me there if I don't respond back on YouTube. With that being said, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.